Hey guys, welcome back to the Words and Nazo Transfer Show. On today's episode, we have Percy Tao's injury update. Kama Billiard breaks silence over Mama Lodi Sundown's transfer saga. And Ernst Mittendorp and Pizzo Musamani get in a war of words. We kick off the show with Pizzo Musimani and Ernst Mittendorp embroiled in a heated exchange on live TV. Mamilodi Sundown's coach Pizzo Musimane's remarks about Amakosi benefiting from mistakes from match officials um, said in a post-match interview against Black Leopards stated, I'm not saying that they are cheating or that the ref are helping them but they are benefiting from the mistakes of the ref. Um, let's take it to a video of Musimane. He must blow. The referee chickened, chickened out to be honest. He's going with the old rules. Chiefs, when it's Chiefs, it, it is always penalty. It was penalty against Chiefs yesterday. I must get a penalty also. You know, I don't benefit, the Chiefs is benefiting from all the mistakes of, of the referees. It's not about Chiefs. I'm highlighting the realities. Yes, it is true. No matter what, it is true. Mutsimane's comments were in direct reference to the match officials. Kaiser Chiefs coach Ernst Mittendorp became involved with um, coach Mutsimane in a heated exchange accusing the Mamelodi Sundowns technician on live TV of making a lot of noise regarding to his recent refereeing decisions. Um, speaking on a joint um, guest appearance on SABC Sports Showcase Soccer Zone, the two became involved in a heated exchange and they gear up to meet head to head in the Shell Hilux Ultra Cup on Saturday. Um, this is the video, guys. Yeah, he's making a lot of noise recently uh, in different departments, and therefore, in this moment, uh, don't believe this one too. And coach is right, I've made a lot of noise, and I'm happy they had the noise. I thought they don't hear the noise, so they got the noise. Last message, Listen, though. There's a lot, of, a lot of making a lot of noise, not about your own team, making a lot of noise about other teams. Yeah. What does it say? What does it tell you? I don't know. You tell us. Uh, I think so. There must be a little bit of respect, a little bit of fear. There must be a bit of uh, whatever. I, I, I don't find the right word. Yeah. But uh, uh, I talk all about my players, my team, uh, and that's it. I don't have to, to need uh, to, to go into referee decision, other decisions here, this is not right, this is not right. Uh, sorry, why are you doing this uh, in such a position being the champion of uh, the PSA? Because we are the champions of last year or not. Okay, if he has said himself that, that other teams can benefit, other teams don't benefit, he yeah. said it himself, and that's what I said. Yeah. So why not? Why should I not highlight why? Why should I say, say why not? If I hear no, I say it. You know I will say it. You know I will say it. Yeah? Against any team. Yeah? In the PS, I will say it. Whether you like it, you don't like it, it's humor, you don't hear it's not humor. I, you will feel it. I'm around. <laughs> Musimane later confirmed that his side wouldn't be taking the encounter lightly and they would be looking to come out on top as the two teams make a statement when they meet on the 27th of October in an EBSA Premiership clash. Moving on to one of the biggest stories that had us enthralled the whole transfer window um, in August, Kaiser Chiefs forward Kama Billiard breaks silence on Mamelodi Sundown's interest. Kaiser Chiefs forward um, Kama Bilat has had his first time to speak out about the widespread rumors linking him with a return to Mamelodi Sundowns. The current PSL champions Mamelodi Sundowns are known to have been attempting to re-sign the Zimbabwean international prior to the start of the current campaign. However, Chiefs refused to sell one of their most prized assets in Billiard, remaining with the Naturena-based Giants. Um, Kama Billiard was subject to a strong transfer speculation during the recent transfer windows as it was rumored that he wanted to return to Clearcorp just after a season of his departure, with a subsequent um, massive stir between Sundowns and Chief officials. But throughout the back and forth between the two clubs, um, there was a statement that the Zimbabwean international insisted that he was not deterred and he was not unsettled in any way. The Yamakosi talisman um, discussed his state of mind during the time when he was heavily linked 
with Masanda Wana. I was not trying to read a lot, I was trying to stay focused and not distracted and it demanded a lot of mental strength from me. I think I couldn't have handled it better. Asked however if he had any direct contact between himself and officials from the Brazilian camp, the 29 year old reduced it to social media speculation and cleared um, the fact that he wanted out and assured his happiness at Amakosi. I can't confirm that they contacted me because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't get anything on my phone and everything I just read on social media, he added. I like just said I don't know what's happening and I thought it was just rumors. I am happy this is my home and I have to make the best of my environment as I want it to be. Um, it's exactly what I hope for and I just hope it will be like this forever. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why they are still doing this, playing mind games. From my experience, it doesn't work. Kama Bila concluded. Um, Ernst Mittendorp blasted Kama Billiard recently for reporting for national duty when he was supposedly recovering from a pelvic injury. Comments which led the coach into hot water with football um, manager of Kaiser Chiefs Bobby Mutawung. We spoke about it. As players, we want to play football whenever you are called for national team duty. I had to go since the club allowed me and it was resolved in a professional way. Um, it's part of our careers and things can be said and done, but we have to accept it and deal with it in the best way we can. This was the response um, a Billiard had on his comments via his coach Ernst Mettendorp. Moving on to the last story of the episode, um, there's been a big update on the Percy Tau injury. Um, an update has been provided on Percy Tau's current situation ahead of the match for Bafana Bafana this weekend in the Nelson Mandela Challenge Cup in Port Elizabeth. There has been concerns regarding Percy Tau's readiness for Sunday's match against Mali after he arrived from Belgium club Club Bruges with fears of an injury. The former Mamalodi Sundown star was forced off a Club Bruges match against Ghent on Sunday in the first half following a tackle from an opponent's um, player. However, the latest from the Bafana Bafana camp is that the 25-year-old has been declared fit for a match by the medical team but he did not play on Thursday's practice match against EPSA Premiership Chipper United. We have rested Percy Tau today. He is not injured. He is recovering from an injury. So it's just a precautionary rest. Medically, I have cleared him for selection. So it will be up to the coach if he plays him on Sunday or not. The Bafana Bafana team doctor reported to the media on Thursday. The match is scheduled for Sunday at 15 um, 100. Um, in my personal opinion, Persitao shouldn't risk um, playing in the game against Mali, even though we, he might be needed by Bafana Bafana, but it's not a crucial game for Bafana Bafana, and he has one of the biggest um, games coming up in his career against PSG in the UEFA Champions League. So I hope the Bafana Bafana technical team can give him a rest and he can recover from this injury. So guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Video.